This is an eastern long-neck turtle, Chelidina longicollis, a turtle with a long neck, and he's fallen victim to plastics in our waterways. But without assistance, this turtle would surely die. Now, the difference between turtles and tortoises is that turtles are aquatic and have feet for swimming. And tortoises are terrestrial and they live on the land. They have walking feet. These are called side neck turtles. They can bring their heads into their bodies and whack out and grab their prey. Eastern long neck turtles eat snails, fish, worms, and yabbies. They're carnivorous. See his nose right up there. It's not on the front of his face. His nose is on top of his head. So he can use his nose like a snorkel, sticking his nose out of the water and creeping up on his prey and avoiding being detected by his predators. He's got a piece of skin over his ear. It's called a tympanum. When he's swimming beneath the water, he doesn't get water in his ear canals. Ingenious. Now the top part of his shell is called his carapace. Great protection. No bills, no rent. He's always on holidays. And underneath, they're his ribs and his sternum stuck together. That's called his plastron. Check out his coloration, blacks and yellows. That's a great defense mechanism from predators. Black and yellow means warning, stay away. And these turtles are well known for exuding a pungent odor out of their backside, their cloaca. Boy, it stinks so much, you'd have to put a peg on your nose. But definitely tells predators to leave them alone. The patterns on his back, they're made up of scoot scales. They're kind of like solar panels. It helps them to sit outside in the sun to heat up their body. Often you hear them splashing and jumping into the water to evade being eaten by predators. Eastern long neck turtles can live up to 50 years in the wild. And freshwater turtles are oviparous. They're egg laying. Remember, if you see plastic litter of any sort, pick it up and discard of it appropriately. Illegal opera house nets often get pulled out of the Yarra River and Ruffy Lake in the city of Manningham. These trap platypus, water rats, and eastern long neck turtles. So don't use them. Now you might be thinking, why do we need turtle species? These animals help us out. They keep the Yarra River clean. They eat the dead fish. They're like a environmental filter. Without turtles, there would be algae blooms and the river would become deoxygenated, detrimental to all living species. Not only do they have pressure with our litter and waste in the city of Manningham, there's no new recruitment of turtles in the Yarra River. All the babies get eaten up by foxes and cats. So we need to help them out. Litter and plastic pollution in the city of Mattingham is a massive threat to our beautiful turtle species. Our plastic waste has catastrophic effects on our native wildlife. Plastic remains in our environment for over 600 years. Fishing line and plastic twine. Now remember, discard of your plastic appropriately. It kills wildlife. Put your litter in the bin and look after our eastern long neck turtles. They do a great job for us. They keep the river clean.